take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If not, you can change the rhythm, change the texture. Try to notice what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now. Because you want to make this the foundation for your staying here in the present moment with a sense of stability and security. This is the place where you belong, not wandering around, dumpster diving in the past, dumpster diving in the future. You've got something really good right here. You've got your awareness in the present moment. You've got the breath in the present moment. You can watch your intentions as they come up. This is important because your intentions are the things that shape your life. And all too often we don't, we don't check them all that carefully. It's like a factory where the, the inspectors are getting kind of lazy and allowing all kinds of bad things to go through. And as a result, your life gets shaped in a bad way, and then you complain. Well, here's how to solve the problem. Get back on top of what's actually going on in the present moment. And when you have an intention come up, and you want to do something or say something or think something, ask yourself, is this really worth following? And this way you get used to scrutinizing yourself. And when you have this ability to scrutinize yourself without being threatened by seeing the fact that oh, there, there are some unskillful things going on in the mind then it's also easier to take criticism from other people. Today's the last day of the rains. It's the day when the monks invite one another to criticize them concerning any of the rules they think they, the other monks may have seen them having broken. It's an opportunity to be open to criticism. It's from that that we learn. And even though the lay people don't have the same ceremony, it's a good principle to keep in mind that you want to be open to criticism. Because otherwise you don't learn a lot of things. You have your big blind spots, well, someone else can see right through them, so you want to have the advantage of their eyes. And if you consider that what they say is true, okay, then you've learned something. If it's not true, you've learned something about them. But most of us don't feel secure in the face of criticism. We feel like we're being attacked, that our worth as a person is being questioned. So this is why you have to develop a sense of being solidly here in the present, knowing yourself, knowing what's going on in the mind, and not being threatened by anything at all. That way every situation is a learning situation, even if you're learning things you didn't want to know, but they may be things that you should know, that you can benefit from knowing. So try to have the sense of being really secure, despite whatever anyone else may say. Secure in the sense of if what they say is true, okay, you want to learn from it. We're not brushing off the criticism, we're just learning how to accept and listen to the criticism without feeling threatened. And that's a really useful skill.